Hey everyone, Pastor Sarah here. So the past few weeks, we've been talking about things that scare us. We've been talking about spiders, thunderstorms, our fears, our doubts, our worries, and about things that lurk in the darkness. And all of those things are scary, but not everyone is scared of them. Today, we're gonna talk about something that pretty much scares everyone, and that is messing up. Messing up can be downright terrifying. Let me put it to you this way. If I told you you could go home right now, open your closet to a bug-eyed monster staring back at you, or you can go to your dad and tell him that the baseball bat accidentally slipped out of your hand and hit the windshield of his brand new car, breaking it, which would you pick, right? Well, today we're gonna look at someone in the Bible who knows how terrifying it is to mess up, and that is Peter. See, Peter had one of the most famous mess ups in the Bible. When he had a chance to stand up for Jesus, he denied ever knowing him. So we're gonna head over, watch our Bible story, and then check in with Reuben and Kara and see how they're doing. God's story, Peter denies Jesus. So remember how part of God's story is about a guy named Peter who walked on water with Jesus? Well, it goes like this. Peter followed Jesus. But like all of us, he wasn't perfect. Sometimes he messed up. One time, he even pretended not to know Jesus at all. Here's what happened. Jesus and his 12 disciples were going to different towns, showing more and more people that Jesus is God's son. But some people did not believe Jesus is God's son. They thought that was impossible. And they got so mad that Jesus said he was God's son that they tried to have him arrested even killed. Turns out, Jesus had to die to rescue us. See, he was perfect, yet chose to come to our broken world and live and die just like us. But then he came back to life, which means Jesus really was sent from God and really is stronger than death. So now, even though we all mess up, we can follow Jesus and one day live with him forever. But at the time, Peter and the other disciples couldn't have known all that. They believed Jesus was God's son, but they didn't know how he would rescue us. One night, Jesus did get arrested. Peter and the disciples were sad and scared. They could get into trouble too, just for following him. So when a servant girl recognized Peter and said, this man was with Jesus, Peter said, I don't know him. Then someone else called Peter a follower of Jesus and he said, I am not. A third person said Peter knew Jesus and Peter said, I don't know what you're talking about. Right then, a rooster crowed and Peter realized what he had done. In fact, Jesus had told Peter that he was going to deny him three times before the rooster crowed. But guess what? That means Jesus knew Peter would mess up before he even did anything. And Jesus loved him anyway. The best part is, he feels the same way about us. Peter would keep on following Jesus and show many more people how to follow Jesus. And we can too. And that's part of the story of Peter. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Peter messed up. People arrested Jesus. Peter pretended he didn't know Jesus. He did it again. He did it a third time. The rooster crowed. Jesus still loved Peter. We mess up too. Jesus still loves us. Peter followed Jesus we can follow Jesus too. And that's a part of God's story. Kids, do you get hungry at bedtime? Because I get hungry at bedtime and I usually need a snack. Like sometimes I don't finish all my dinner in time or after dinner I go outside and play too hard. Or maybe sometimes I don't like the dinner that my parents bring to me so I don't eat it, but then I'm really hungry an hour later. Anyways, I just always need a snack. That's why I keep a handy dandy snack under my pillow. Kara, were those um, for you? Reuben? They were your snack? You know these are my snacks. Uh, excuse me, it's not Reuben, it's Mikey. Reuben is the monster who lives under my bed. Nope, I am Mikey. I'm Reuben's cousin. Reuben. The nice one. <laughs> the nice one. I know it's you, Reuben. Also, did you notice anything different about my room? Yep. You love me so much that you're cleaning your room just for me, so I won't be afraid? Thank you. No, no. I like the color. 
Well, just pretend it's for me. Okay, it's Thank for you. you. Thank you. Awesome. Uh huh. Kay. Anyway, back to my snacks that oh, you've been eating. I'm sorry. Listen. Yes. If God can forgive us of all of our mistakes, I guess I can forgive you for eating my favorite snacks. Fine, I'll just pack my stuff and go to your closet. I know you don't want me No, anymore. no, no, you don't have to go to the closet. It's okay. Why? Is there a monster in the closet? What? No, well, I mean, yes, there's a monster in the closet, what? but that's beside the point. Scary it's one? beside the point. I don't think so. Oh, good, good. Listen. Okay, so what's the point? God forgives us of all of our mess ups. I've been telling you this for weeks. Yes. Every time we mess up, God forgives Two us. Weeks. Therefore, this will be the last time you eat my snacks, but I will forgive you. Thank you. You're welcome. So I don't have to go to your, your closet, right? Nope, you're fine. Okay, there's nobody scary in the closet, yes. Well, I mean, there is a monster and his name is Jordan. Oh, well, that's a cool name. Yeah. It's not Mikey, but anyways. I don't think he's scary though. Awesome. Is he scary? No, right? Do you want me to check? Please. Hey, Jordan, you. are you scary? Yeah! <laughs> scary? <laughs> Ruben, it's fine, it's fine, he's not scary. He's kidding, he's kidding, are he's you, kidding. Are you sure? Yes, he's okay. kidding, it's fine. It's fine, you can go to bed. Okay. Good night, Ruben. Good night. The truth is, Jesus is not the one that has a hard time forgiving you. The person who has a hard time forgiving you is you. We beat ourselves up over our mess ups. In fact, when we do something bad, oftentimes, other people are willing to forgive us long before we're willing to forgive ourselves. We just need to remember that we're human. We mess up, it's what we do. But Jesus loves us and he wants to forgive us. All we have to do is ask Jesus to forgive us and maybe even ask Jesus to help you to forgive yourself. And remember that when someone does something that hurts you or something bad, be quick to forgive them. That's how we show the world that Jesus wants to forgive us and he wants us to forgive others. So let's go ahead and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for forgiving me when I mess up. Please help me to forgive others. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys, let's head over to some worship. Hey guys, welcome. It's time for worship. So wherever you're at, you're in your living room, your bedroom, your playroom, get up and let your parents hear it. Let's go.
That's my line when I'm like, I have no idea what's next. Cool. <laughs> Neat. I bet it didn't hurt as much when you flipped me off of this bed. That was really funny. He legit flipped me off. Like went, and I went whoop. It was not funny, do not do that. I know we have been really good. We don't have bloopers. Because we're so talented. Good. Wow. Air flip. <laughs> He's gonna throw up. <laughs> okay.